All right, and that was Screw. Before that, we heard Radio Drone with their tune, Want It Back. Some more Screw, or some smooth sailing. Firebug was in there. There's a whole lot of stuff in there. So, we listen to a lot. Okay. You're listening to the Josh Ayers Show. We're fun. We are. Absolutely. With me is Rocket. Boom. Got it. No the. F the the. <laughs> so, anyhow. Uh, okay. Um... What else can we talk about? I don't know. I feel like we're running. This is where we need that third person. I wish Shell was here, the wife. If the wife was with us, then we could like really bounce some stuff, and she could be that kind of filter for me. Or the person who drags out the stuff I can't get out of you. Yeah, well, see, with her, I could start talking about stuff like, you know, we have a son. He's five and a half months now. He's starting to do all kinds of crazy stuff, like rolling over back and forth. You know, he's kind of talking a little bit. Don't quite know what he's saying, but you understand, like, you understand what mm means now instead of Meh. You know, you kind of get, you know, he's he's trying to say. Um, but uh, he's still on the teat, which is cool. You know, he doesn't have teeth yet. So she's going to start winging him, though. Just, I mean, no re- no reason to force him. Well, I mean, my whole thing is like, uh, those teeth are coming in. You ain't going to lock down that titty. Well, yeah, sometime before his teeth come in would be good. I mean, you know what I'm really excited about? Getting my titties back. Mm. Those are my titties. Not anymore. Uh-huh, because he's almost done with them. So they're coming back to me. It's like I leased them to him. You leased them to him. It's like, you can have them for a few months. You know, we'll have a six months le- lease on this, and then they come back to daddy. How does Michelle feel about this? Oh, she's going to love it. She always likes it when I knock it. You know what I'm saying? No. No? You got to explain it. Well, uh, when I really pound it, um, she's kind of into that. And lately we haven't been doing that. Cause the, well, for one, we got the kid there. So we don't go, you can't go as wild and hard as you normally would because honestly, you're going to wake the kid up and that kills everything. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll tell you one time we're <laughs> we're 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 going out, and it's not nothing hard, nothing big or fun because the kids in the car seat, uh, in the floor right there beside us, uh, but he's asleep. You know, we're like, oh, we got some time. I was like, you know, I really could use a little relaxation. So here we go, and you know, I'm going, and then I I, I turn my head and I look, and he's just staring at me, <laughs> wide awake, and it, it it really messed with me a little bit. I don't know why. It, it's the it just kind of for me. I, I'm one of those people where. Yeah, you know, I could do it with a dog watching, but with my son watching, it feels a little weird. I mean, I still finished, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but it felt a little weird, like, staring at him while he's staring back at me. What's the difference between him and a dog? Well, the dog will lick you and kind of gets involved, so it's kind of like having a third party. Uh. <laughs> you, you, you don't do that? You know, with your cats? I know you do that with your cats. We used to have a cat who slept on the pillow. While you did it? Anytime. Did it pee on you? No. If it peed on you, then it's involved. Well. Then it becomes something kind of weird. <laughs> something you have to think about the next day. There are people who would, who would pay to see that movie, but uh, I'm not. No. You know, like, I wonder if there's people around here that pay me to let my dog watch them do it. Because my dog would just lay there and watch you do it. I wish somebody would pay for that. You are incorrigible. You'll go for anything to make you money. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I've got a son now. <laughs> it's like, he's expensive. But, uh, boy, five and a half months, wow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now when he like watches us doing it, he, he kind of underst- he doesn't understand what we're doing, but at the same time, it's like he could remember it. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a little different. Yeah, I don't know. Um, when did you and your wife quit doing it in front of your kids? Like a month ago? <laughs> <laughs> never. We never did it in front of the kids. Never in front of the kids? Nope. Even when they were babies? Nope. Is it because you didn't want to or because you just couldn't get any? Mostly because my wife was shy. Even in front of her own kids? Yeah. Did they suck on her teeth? Yeah. Then that's that's bullshit, dude. She had nothing to be shy about. 
Don't argue to me. I, I've got to argue with you because I have no way else to argue with. But I, I think that's BS. If uh, she can let her kids milk her, then she needs to feel comfortable being naked in front of her with the man who helped create them just, you know, slapping sloppies, you know? I have no problem with it, but. <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> Rob Dom, watch what your old man can do. <laughs> And then she's just laying there like a cardboard box, and you're like, man, this feels kind of rapey. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, this feels a little weird. <laughs> Still going to finish. You're my wife, so it's okay. But at the same time, I'm not going to lie. I could really use your encouragement. <laughs> just say yes or no or ow <laughs> or something. Ow. Yeah, yeah. Just wink at me. Smile at me. Quit. Quit giving me resting bitch face. <laughs> Are you done yet, Dan? <laughs> when you get done, you need to get the shovel and put it out back. <laughs> and don't forget to go to the post office. Hurry up and finish. We're at two minutes. This is the longest it's ever taken you. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's how I imagine it for you. And that's why uh, Rob and Dom are the way they are now. Because they weren't educated by watching me in my life. Well, no. See, one of them like, took like too much of it and the other one didn't get enough. Dom's very... He sits there. He isn't going to say anything appropriate. And Rob, basically, if anybody walks by, he'll stick his finger inside of them and go, Oop, gotcha! <laughs> yeah. So, uh... That would be Rob. Yeah. I wonder, does he take after you, or are you laying more with that? What do you think? So your wife really just likes to stick her finger in things? Mm, or is it you? Me. You? You're like, come here, kitty. <laughs> and her father. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So you and him, like, joint finger it? <laughs> Not like on your wife and his daughter, that's gross, but like, you know, like on a cousin or something? Because that'd be okay. Mm, no. You know what we need to do is we need to talk to somebody who sleeps with their cousin. Well, we're in the right place to do that. That's what I'm thinking. Is like we could probably get somebody on here to talk about that. We still haven't got the people from the butt chugging video to call in. I think they're dead. They look like people that die early. They look like people who drank themselves to death real early. Yeah, they drink themselves to death in their butt. I know. Oh. <laughs> how does every episode come back to the butt chuck I, I I bring it back to it but for some reason I, I just have a couple hang ups about it I want to know more about it not only that you know what I want to do is I want to like we need to take the kangaroos from the kangaroo boxing video and introduce them to the butt chugging guys and see if we can't get them to work together like you chug a beer in your butt and then you go box a kangaroo hmm why? And it couldn't really be. It isn't. It isn't butt chugging. It's almost like butt sipping because they're just pouring a little bit in there at a time. You know. Yeah, that's actually true. Yeah. So we saw butt sipping. They, so they tried to make it sound cooler, like butt chugging. Well, the only true place they butt chugs at the University of Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude, UT, man, we're going to win the national championship this year. Tennessee, Tennessee. Still think that? Yeah, I do. Do You You don't believe it? I don't know. I think so. You think we're going to do it? I think we're going to do it. And there's no way. It, it's this year. It's all or nothing this year. we got to win it all this year. I think we can do it. We certainly have a, uh, a good team. Oh, we have a great team, man. And we, I'll tell you, this year, all the coaches I feel like are trustworthy. Like that defensive coordinator, man. I like him. I like him. Do you? Yeah. Why? He's in, well, he's uh, had a top 15 defense everywhere he's been. And in the Vanderbilt heydays a few years ago, uh, when James Franklin was the head coach, he was the defensive coordinator that was getting all the recruits and making them the top one of the top defenses at SEC, which you never see at Vanderbilt. 